Ever tried catching a floating magnet? No? Well, now imagine one zipping past you at 603 kilometers per hour. That's 375 miles per hour. Welcome to Japan's magical future, the Chuo Shinkansen. First, a moment of magic. Remember when you were a kid, and you tried to push two magnets similar poles together? They repelled, right? The Chuo Shinkansen does that, but on steroids. This train doesn't touch the tracks. It floats. Now, Japan and trains, they've been BFFs for a while. But while the bullet trains, or Shinkansen, were the talk of the town in the 20th century, the 21st is all about the maglev, short for, magnetic levitation. Yup, this train is quite literally ahead of its time. Alright, enough of the fluff. Let's get to the meaty bits. How does a massive train float? The answer, electromagnetic wonders. Superconducting magnets in the train repel and attract guiding magnets on the tracks, allowing the train to levitate. It's like the world's coolest hoverboard, but, you know, way bigger and faster. And speaking of speed, this isn't your grandma's Sunday drive. The Chuo Shinkansen is the proud record holder for the fastest maglev train, clocking a mind-bending 603 km per hour during its test runs. That's almost twice as fast as traditional Shinkansen's. How's that for a speedy sushi delivery? Now, why go through all this maglev hassle? Less friction, my friend. By eliminating contact with the tracks, not only do you get a smoother ride, but you also reduce wear and tear, and it's quieter. So, if you ever wondered what floating on a cloud at rocket speeds felt like, book a ticket to Japan. The route's a gem too. Connecting Tokyo to Nagoya, it's a 286 kilometers, 178 mile journey, expected to be covered in just 40 minutes. That's cutting the current Shinkansen time in half. Oh, and did we mention, over 86% of this route is underground? Because why gaze at the countryside when you can race beneath it? But like any superhero, the Chuo Shinkansen has its challenges. Constructing this wonder is no walk in the park. Think mountains, city infrastructures, and environmental concerns. But if there's one thing we know about Japan, it's that they love overcoming tech challenges it's like their version of Sudoku. Environmentalists, fear not. Japan's not about to sacrifice nature for speed. They're ensuring minimal land disruption and considering all ecological concerns. So, even the most dedicated tree hugger can enjoy this ride guilt-free. Let's not forget the bucks. Big tech means big bucks. The whole project, set to be fully operational by 2027, is estimated at around 9 trillion yen, or about 80 billion dollars. Some say it's too pricey. Others argue you can't put a price on the future. We're just here wondering if they have a frequent floater program for tickets. In the end, the Chuo Shinkansen isn't just another train. It's a symbol of ambition, the relentless human drive to push boundaries, to innovate, to imagine a world where we don't just travel, but float into the future. So, next time you think of Japan, think beyond sushi and sumo. Think maglev the gravity-defying wonder of the modern age.